Hi guys, Alice Taylor down at Leven Golf Academy and today we're going to be checking should you be using a hybrid or a utility iron? Right then guys, so a lot of golfers kind of still persist with those long irons in the bag and there's so many good options nowadays with lofted fairway woods, hybrids, hollow headed utility irons. So I'm going to test the TS3 hybrid against the U510, both 20 degrees of loft and we're going to see which one gives me the kind of ball flight and distances that I'd be looking for for this particular club. Right then guys, so like I said, there's lots of golfers that I see, in fact I had a couple of guys in yesterday persisting with that kind of three, four, five iron in the bag and to be honest, when we check, they just don't hit the ball the distances those clubs need to. So I think a big dilemma for a lot of guys is they'd like something that maybe looks more like an iron still, but for me it has to, it has to tick boxes on looks and feel, but it has to perform. So I'm going to hit the U510 first. So the four, 20 degrees. Now, behind the ball, yes, there's that slightly thicker, kind of chunky top line, and you can see the back of the club. I have reviewed the one iron in this, and it was very, very impressive. And if you haven't watched that already, just stop this video, pop over to there, and it'll give you an idea kind of what titles are doing with this utility iron. But let's hit five real balls on track, man, and let's, compare utility iron against hybrid. A little pushy one to start, but very, very high. So good strike. It's certainly not one of my most accurate, but very, very high. And what most guys need is that little bit more launch angle and keeping the ball in the air with these longer clubs. And it is quite loud, to be fair, but hollow headed, decent strike again. So 212 yards and round about probably what I would be looking for with this club. And again, very high, that's my little kind of stock shape, I'm not trying to take that off at the moment. A little bit of a drop off, but around about that 200, still decent. That was just not going to come back from there, it's just hanging out to the right a little bit. So again, good strike. And I'll be honest, I, even though it's a bit chunky, I, I don't dislike the look of this one. Certainly for me, Probably wouldn't put a f this loft in my bag. I might go down to the, the 16 degree for me. Uh, just for a bit of variety, we'll hit that one a little bit further left. So let's look at the averages there because they weren't all right out the middle of the golf club either. So let's look at the U U510 and see how it stacks up. So you can see the strikes were solid, maybe slightly towards the toe, but that hollow headed iron giving lots of forgiveness. So we're saying there, ball speed down a little bit, fine. Launching a little bit higher than potentially I should do with a four iron, but maybe that would launch a little bit more like that with the design of the club. I think spin's pretty good, even though it's saying a little low, I'd be happy with that spin, but all in all, very, very good performance from the U510. Right, so that moves us into the hybrid. Now, obviously there's TS3 and TS2. The reason I've gone TS3 is it's the most shallow from front to back out of the hybrid. So it's the most similar design to the utility iron. Little bit longer shaft, so we might see just a touch more distance. But this is also, for me, about am I hitting it high? Could I stop the ball with this type of club? So definitely no problem at all getting the ball in the air. That one very, very high, good solid strike and a bit more distance, which potentially the length of shaft 
might get me just moving a touch quicker. That one, like one of those blocky ones. That's definitely not coming back from over there. So 200, so very similar to the one that I hit with the utility aim. So nice and solid again. A little bit healy, so that one just the strike, just stopping that one shape back. 207. Again, good line. Maybe just a little bit low on the club face. 215. So definitely for me, any of you guys that watch my videos, hybrids are tough sell with me. Just visually, I don't always love the way they sit behind the golf ball. So definitely the utility iron appeals for me on looks behind the ball. Feel wise, I think they feel very, very similar. Obviously, very similar technology in the heads. That one just turning over a little bit. Felt quick off the face. And that was super long. Right then guys, so certainly if we look at the yardages down the side, for me there was more of a, a difference from front to back. So from 200 up to nearly 230 carry. And when we look at the strike, strike not quite as consistent. Now that, that potentially is just the length of the shaft being a little bit longer on the hybrid, me not controlling it quite as well. Very, very good numbers. And it's saying there that the way I'm swinging the club and delivering it, I should have just hit it fractionally further than the four utility, but still very, very good, good height, good spin, launching a bit lower, good ball speed, so all in all, kind of performing how you would expect. Right then guys, so hybrid or utility iron? That was the question at the start. Now for me, if I went on looks, that wins all day long. If I go on feel, dead heat. I, I'd take either of those on how they felt. Now performance, the averages were very, very similar. But for me, what was more noticeable, and for me as a player would be more worrying, is there was a bigger spread front to back with the hybrid than there was with the utility iron. So I think from my perspective, I would see a more similar distance shot with this club than I would with this club. And as a result of that, that's why for me, I would always tend to lean towards this kind of hollow headed iron in my long iron now that they're available but I think the key thing for you guys is if long irons are in the bag and you struggle a little bit with them you need to get along you need to hit hybrids lofted fairway woods uh, hollow headed irons anything out there and see does it produce the number that you need with the kind of flight that you're looking for does it give you a good level of consistency? Because if not, it's probably not worth having in the bag. And then once you've made that right decision, the other little bits on looks and feel are gonna help you make the correct decision. But you need to hit the club side by side, see how they perform, and get what works best in your golf bag. So guys, hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, like and share it, comment below, and I'll get back to as many people as I can. If you've enjoyed the video today and you don't currently subscribe, consider clicking the subscribe button, ring the notification bell, then you'll find out whenever I drop a new video. Follow me on all my social media platforms, all under Ali Taylor Golf. Hopefully catch up with some guys down here soon. Stay in contact.